Imagine, for example, somebody might be thinking today that he's important because somebody beat him with a broom many years ago. No, or, or he's not successful yeah. as a Christian or as an individual in the society because thou shalt not touch my anointed. Mm. And do my prophet no harm. Yes, or, because, or he's poor because he didn't pay tithe. Mm. Those are all superstitious as well. Mm. Uh, because if you, want, if, so if you don't want to be poor, you've got mm. to work hard. Diligence, make the hand of the diligent, make it rich. Mm. You see, but if they say, oh, oh I didn't, uh, the reason why I, nothing is working out for me is because I stopped going to church or I didn't go to night vigil or I mm. missed one Sunday service. Mm. When the Holy Spirit was supposed to bring the, my miracle, I was missing. I was missing. As <laughs> if God is not omnipresent. <laughs> <laughs> So our church system is doing a lot it's to keep people oh, in bondage of yeah, superstition. It's all superstition right mm. now. So it's not that church as a whole is bad. Church is good, but church has to be kingdom-oriented, biblical. Mm. But the churches we are practicing in Nigeria, they are not biblical. They are not, no, they are not Bible-oriented. They are mm. not uh, truth-oriented. They are oriented on superstition, just like the way our grandfathers used to be oriented on superstition. That's mm. the way the churches of today are oriented on superstition. Okay, Pastor, how would you um, describe the state?